The Hawaii Land Board meets on Friday. On the agenda is an enforcement action against the Olson Land Trust for the alleged destruction of historic gravestones in the Pu'ueo section of Hilo. We spoke with an archaeologist doing consultant work for the Trust about the matter. You know, this is kind of a unique situation. I've never worked at a, uh, on a project or at a site uh, where there was some, uh, some damage, uh, and I think primarily there may have been damage over a long period of time. It's, it's hard to know. I've spoken to different people who recall damage in the past. Primarily the headstones, I think, had been knocked over. Um, and so that's, but yeah, so this is very unique. And, and we're still waiting. Uh, the State Historic Preservation Division has yet to uh, r review and approve the archeological study documenting this site. I, I don't know the, the DLNR process or the, the enforcement side of it, so I, I don't know how they conduct their investigations or how they, I, I do know there was an investigation, I know people were interviewed for it and they collected a lot of information for it. I know on the mainland it's not uncommon for a cemetery to be moved, uh, that's not the case here. On the mainland I think Native Americans and also uh, uh, communities that are historically important, those, those burials are, are are protected and of course here in Hawaii uh, there are uh, folks who uh, have Hawaiian an ancestry at at that site in that cemetery. No Eevee were ever exposed, uh, no Eevee were present on the ground surface or visible. The headstones themselves were knocked over so okay. yeah. And there was also some information provided that uh, some of the burials uh, were removed by family members and then reinterred I think at Homolani Park. 